Happy New Year's. <laughs> I done mix this up. I'm in the process of cooking supper, so you hear a bell go off. I'm just checking. Um, I'm using these squares. Cause what I want to do is try to do our, our um, flour and this. I didn't mix up enough to do them all. Whoops. Okay, we'll do these now. Come back in a minute, put in some more. I forget to talk loud on here. Sorry. I need to, I know. Uh, I'll see what I got left once I uh, mix the colors, you know, and all that good stuff. And the only colors I want is gonna be the white for the blooms and some green for the center. Blooms. So, let's put us some white in here. That's enough. Green in here. And like I said, I do use alcohol inks on these items. I've tried regular ink and it just did not work good for me. Regular inks, I use that on other things because these I want to be light and airy. And I've got some in here, so I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, three, four five, six, seven drops. Seven drops seems to work pretty good. Oh, get it going here and stir it up good. Make sure it is stirred up good. When you pick it up and you can see lines, it's not stirred up. Stir it up some more. <laughs> and on those mica powders, anytime you use them, you stir them up till you think they look good and then stir them some more. Cause they, they, if that mica powder is hiding in any little place, it'll float up to the surface and it'll have little blob, blobs of color popping up a piece of powder and it'll leave a little hole. They don't want that. <laughs> now, that looks good. That was a pretty good long little stair mixing. <sighs> right here is my little Dixie cups that I like to use. I, in case you missed the other day, I told you about these little um, measured cups. I usually get four or five of them whenever I go to the Dollar Tree. They got the spout for right ER lefties and they got a handle. They're clear, you can see what you're doing. They're the perfect little mixing bowls and they're not real tiny around. They, it will get pretty hot in there if it's wet alone. Uh, huh? I just want something in the center, that's all. I don't want none, no other color anywhere else. Just my I get ready, I'll do my white. Now that they all shoot up. And yeah, that's a little bit bigger around. There we go. That's good. Because that will blow out, float out, go wherever it wants to go. <laughs> okay. Now. I'm going to see. And if I can get it to work in this one without that much resin. I can always make more and pour the top of it once it gets sticky. No, it totally does, because it'll mess everything up. You gotta have that preserved just tad. Eh, I think that's enough to do it. I heard my buzzer. Just sit here, and I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. Just had to stare for a few things. And now for this. Oh, I gotta put this in that other one. I think that's left, but that'll be enough. I think. Boy, I tell you what, that wind is already getting up. They're giving us in for some storms. I'm gonna have to get in there and find it. I got candles and things all over the place, and I just need to get them together in case we need them tonight. Okay, yeah, that'll be enough. It's 
maybe not as much as those, but it feels good. Nothing has to be the same always. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can heat any of this very well. Get me out here for some of my bugs. I just spread that green a little bit. Okay, that's the simple one. Okay, let's see. My casting crown. Let's do this now. Shake them up. Yeah, that one right there. Okay. And then, uh, the more of this the sink or whatever you use that you put in here, the heavier it's going to be. I usually put about four. And uh, that's usually good enough. But if it ain't, I'm going to add more of that. I'll add some white uh, alcohol. Because it's light and it's going to flow anyway. I want the casting craft to be my main bed here. But for the, the, the look of it, it's thick enough and, and it really looks good, but I still want just a, a tiny, couple of teeny tiny little lip, um, alcohol drops in it. It seems like sometimes it helps it to, to that's it, two drops alcohol ink in with the casting craft and a little bit of uh, resin. This cup is not already half full with resin before I start anything, okay? Okay, here we go now. Let me get me out a little baggie. Let's just dump that baby in there. Straight down in it is your can here. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> just squish that little cup and make sure it all goes in. Garbage. Okay, now. <sighs> that was just right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll use this. It might work better than those scissors, actually. I cut off a little bit right there. Oh, yeah, that looks good. I want to use, let's use one of these. So, select the scissors, step. On here, I do get it like starting it off again. Heard that before. Well, all right, I was twisting this up. I'm sorry, I was off camera. And I'm rolling the top down a little. I've been cutting it, but I've been making messes with it too. So I'm gonna do it. Oh man, look what I've been doing. Dripping that in there, it'll be okay though. I'll, I'll mix it around. Uh -huh. All right, I start right out here, go in, and now realize that these edges here is going to um, push it inward to its shape. All right, now. now. My glove on, y'all can jump all over me later. Yeah. This way. 
Yes, it's probably going to have a blob there. It's going to be. But everything's okay. So everything, hopefully, when you're cooking for you and your husband and trying to do this too, it's kind of awkward to uh, notice that hmm, it's too late that you got your gloves on. Right now. Here. And for this, I will go ahead and put on these. So far, I had not touched anything that would get it on my hand, really, or on me. Thank goodness, my hands were clean, didn't get nothing on. So, but I have a tendency to get more on me when I'm doing things like this because. I'm not really watching a lot of it as much as I should. And yeah, that is an air conditioner you hear. It's like nearly 80 degrees down here in northwest Alabama right now. These storms are just going to be rolling in here. And um, right now, I'm just trying to spread out some of this resin, this white casting craft stuff, so that it won't uh, have that globby on the bottom. And I'm going to go, let's see, what are we going to do? I'm going to drag it down, not, you don't, now remember, don't touch the bottoms, especially with these two picks, you'll scratch up your moles, I kind of lay mine to the side, so if I do accidentally touch it, it's not that point doing it, okay, lay it down just a touch, and come up here, now I'm going to go back in, oh I didn't do that color, came in from each corner, okay? And I'm gonna split those in half like I do the rounder looking ones because that's just too big. Go in from each one that you cut in half. Okay. Pull outward. Hmm. Pull outward. You're bringing that green out just a touch. You can do it with any color that you have a mind to, any color you want, or you can do all four of them in different colors. But this morning, with me cooking, with me doing all this stuff, I thought I'd do a quick, easier, simpler way. Now, let's we'll see what we can do here. We don't want those scattered all over around here. And you on in. All right, start in your corner. Uh, like I said, I almost lay that sucker down. Keep this white clean. Really good. Now, here. I go all corners. All your corners. And then cut that in half. Without touching the bottom. Dirty. Not good at all. No touchy. Split all those in half that you did. Now come back to them and do each one of them a good, pretty little point at the top here. Mm -mm -mm. My way. There's no, well, that glitter, no, um, whatever. I like the color. And to me, they just, it makes them look more realistic. Okay. Ooh, this no here is going to be bad. It's going to be bad, boy. There's too much resin up through here. So I can move some out of it a little bit, maybe, just a touch. We'll have that in it to kind of kinky. <laughs> uh -huh. Start here and bring it in the middle. Stop. Here and 
the middle stop right here. I mean, I'm really messing these up. Uh, them being square and I put them wasn't thinking I'll let some of them get too close and then they're getting pushed in together and, but we shall see whenever we can the mold yep I gotta do this one and I'm gonna come up here see you're just going in on each corner and then in the middle of those you bring them in and then each one of them you did, you're coming out on them to give them that pretty sharp little points. And up here, go. Up here. Uh -huh. Make sure each one of them gets its own pretty little sharp point. Over here to this one, it's got pretty thick right in there with that stuff. I can't have it now. It's in there and it's too late. Do anything about it. And this is already starting to bloom out some. So what I hope is I can push those out some more. Remember, each corner and then in the center of the sides. And so you're cutting those forward you may by dragging in the center to uh, dragging them in good. You know, make it skinnier paddles and you're going to make them out I, I made a curve on that one but you know nature you'll look at your flowers even your tomato plants and stuff nature is pretty perfect but uh, it does have some little quirky things areas and ways it goes and things it wants to do that um it's not what we would consider perfect, but in nature it is perfect. Right. Now you can probably see the purples better meet than the real white. But it looks like these. Time to start doing some heating up here. But I'll tell you what, even without it, even without that, um, those two little drops of uh, alcohol ink helps it to blue already. So that'll work good. I'm getting, getting, getting them edges here. One in the center. One around. I'm going to kind of where it has the little points that we made each one. I try to push that out again. Because this stuff is going to go in the center anyway. Right? And here we are. We pointed it and it gets pushed out. Here's where we made the points at. I have to talk that over this. But I'm pushing it out. Look, I'm going around the top first. Get scooting down. Now, I'm going to go inward outward on my points a little. And that would be corners. And on your little centers that you, where you swirl, don't swirl a lot. Uh, just a, a small area in the center. It's going to give your flowers a really cute type of look. And um, it's not going to have that great you know, big center. It's just going to have some really cute petals coming around there and doing stuff. And that's it. I've got it all going. And I see a little speck of black trash. Mm -hmm. about got this glove off, so I'm not putting it back on right there. But, uh, yeah, buddy. I got that one. This one up here I kind of worry about in this corner where all that just kind of fell in place here for me. And, and in the wrong way, I guess I should say. I'm trying to smooth them out and out around the back. But if these globs, it's going to be out here. Mm hmm. Same way. Right here. Going out a little further. 
Whatever. Okay. Leave them alone. And I want them filled up more. Like I said I didn't mix up enough to fill them to the top. So in a couple hours, I will come back and finish filling them up to the top. Not well, not all the way to the top, part of the way. And I'll fill them all up with, well, no, I think they're full enough. So I'll just put in my, my black for the background for that mix it, which is um, solid black. It doesn't have to be ink. It can be the regular old black dye. Mix it in a good bit of resin and we will see what, uh, what happens. And I gotta get over and check on my supper, my dinner. And I'll see y'all when it's time to undo all this good stuff. Uh, it's just me again. <laughs> all right, we're gonna work, put our backs on these. I had somebody say they didn't understand how, what my back was. My back is just plain old black ink. You can use whatever color you want. My preference is black, but I don't, you know, but that part isn't really gonna matter. Uh, if you like it, another color. And I put enough of this because I do not want mica powder. I do not want, I'm gonna put about 10 drops. Oops, that was a squirt, that was good for three or four. In here, stir it very well. And if that's not, once it's good mixed and that's not enough, I put a few more in. But we gotta stir it really good. Now this has been sitting for a few hours and it is tacky to touch. I don't like touching my, my fingers and I need to put my gloves on before I get started too much. But um, I uh, had them on when I mixed that resin and I took the pair off of it. Couldn't get them back on. Anyway, I'm gonna use these things this time. Oh. But um, if that doesn't, make it dark enough all you gotta do is put a little few more drops and let's do some more stir and then i do that a lot because i don't see no need wasting my inks or my not my inks but my paints well they are ink aren't they my ink <laughs> i don't have to be. and i'm gonna watch make sure Really, really dark, dark. And no mica powder or nothing. Just your regular old resin ink. No, it is not alcohol. No, it's just plain ink. All right, let's try stirring a little more. Mm -hmm. I guess you could put a little dab of like mica powder in it and it would help with the opaqueness. Make sure this is sticky. And the reason I say that it's thick and tacky, because anything you put on back, it be glitter or whatever, if that's not tacky, it's gonna sink clean through and ruin all that pretty work. So far, they don't look bad, I got a glare. Oh, I hate having to do this. Mm, is it better? Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Some reason. I don't know where that glare's coming from. It's on this one. <laughs> where are you? Wow! <laughs> it's close, fell. Yeah, I'm making a mess. <laughs> Cut that one off. See if that's. No, I know where it's coming from. It's that kitchen light. Hold on, I'm gonna take it off. Now, it is. Now we found it, didn't we? Okay. Uh, I got it mixed up good. I hope. <laughs> now. As I was saying, though, if you put 
something on there and that's not tacky yet, it's going to ruin your flowers or whatever design you might have. And I'm probably going to have to mix some more of it, but I'll try not to have to. Yeah, I want to mix enough of four of them. Give that time to spread some. That one too. What poo? Happy who? <laughs> About so used to doing two things at a time just for training purposes. But right now, I'm having to, I'm trying to get more done of them. I keep getting that because I do have a party coming up that's going to I'm gonna have to end up having some, uh, gonna have five handmade gifts, can you imagine? And, uh, a bunch of ink in there, black ink. I just squirted a bunch. As you can tell, I'm not really <laughs> exact. But I've always just as a firefighter, as an EMT, you had to just jump in with both feet and hope it worked out. That's been my motto most of my life, is just jump in and hope it works out. And that's kind of what I do, you know. You know, I, I've mentioned my little Boston Terrier, Mia, or Daisy. We had her big sister, Mia. And she was about seven and developed a blunt brain lesion. She was the sweetest little Boston Terrier. She was so tiny. And oh man, she was the love of her life. And personality started changing and then the seizures started. And the vet bill of visits all said uh, brain lesions. And when it got to the point to where she was having um, seizures after seizure after seizure, then we had to put her to sleep, and that happened in September this year, or October, no, it was October, I'm sorry, and uh, of 2021, anyway, that just, um, like the me and little Daisy, the one I got left, she's just two years old, so her big sister's been around her all her life, you know, I don't know, she's six weeks, and, uh, I got a uh, distant cousin here in Muscle that breeds them and sells them. So I got that one, Daisy, right at him. And, oh man, she is so precious. She's got me and my husband wrapped around her finger, or her little toes, I should say. Her name's Daisy May, but I spelled the May like the month, because that's the month she was born. She was actually born the day before my birthday. Mine's the 16th of May, hers is the 15th. And then my German Shepherd had her birthday. I mean, her uh, puppies on the 15th. Just still miss my birthday with them too, but you know, they're all gone now, but one. And she just, that just, they need to hang around mom or something, I reckon. <laughs> but we have no cats. I love cats. I have no problems with cats. I just don't have any. But I'd like to get one. I've been kind of hinting around to my husband about it. <laughs> Our youngest son has a little allergy. He had a kitten since things when he was little. But as he got older, he became allergic. Okay, these are covered. Just remember that was some, enough resin to cover them, and uh, I didn't mix a lot of it together because I didn't need much, you know, no more black than what I needed on here. And now we're gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna blow out some of the bubbles. There's my heat gun on it. Although I could use a torch on them because this didn't have alcohol in it. And. It's fun, though. It's really satisfying when you bow and you see all these little 
little things happening on top when you're busting the bubble. <laughs> it's uh, really satisfying when you do that. It really is. I know you all the same way. Throw out bubbles and do this. And my grandson made a, he is 16, but oh Lord, he's that kid is, he's smarter than I ever was. Uh, all my grandkids are, a matter of fact, smarter than me. Especially my oldest and Brianna, she's about ready to be a teacher. She's a junior in college and she likes one more year and then her student teaching and then there she'll be. But anyway, when this um, hardens and gets, you know, cured by in the morning, maybe I will remove it and you can see what they look like. And I may have something to show you in the morning. And if it looks right, then we'll do some more and we'll film. But I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. Well, I'm back. <laughs> well, let's see if these are do's or don'ts. <laughs> Remember, I've never worked on uh, square moles, on anything with a square mole. And this has got that little... Uh, Jewel edges, I guess you'd call it. I don't know what you call them, but I just know I liked them. What I did was did the regular flower. Um, I expect this has distorted it with this shape, but we can always keep our fingers crossed. <coughs> and I always use alcohol ink and casting crap to do my flowers. And this back is just plain old, um, plain black ink in some resin poured over it after the first part of this had that was poured with the flat and I did the flower in it had gotten um kind of set a little bit and was still sticky. As long as it's sticky you don't have no worries about it he, adhering to it. And uh, I had some at Christmas and by to be uh, as gifts that people they had bought and that I gave and I had just made and I learned here at home that you can't stack these up for several days, at least a week after um, you've made them on top of each other. So I slid each one inside of a sandwich bag <laughs> and they didn't stick together then and everything was good. Of course, we all know it takes uh, 30 days, but this is still tacky a little bit, but I'm just anxious to see them. That's why I put my gloves on. I don't really want to leave any fingerprints. And, uh, kind of. I'm just wondering what is it gonna. Hey, it really did not distort it that bad, did it? Huh? Really, 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 really. Look at that, guys. Okay, don't lay you mm, right here. Something for that that I can move them around on. Oh, just because that turned out good, don't mean the rest of them will. So we just gotta have to keep a looking. And here is, oh, I really like the way that turned out now. It's all, you know, green with white. That's all what we did. And I just set that down the wrong direction. So crazy. Uh -huh. Got another one of those right here. Oh, wait. I got it. Get on this. Mm -hmm. Well, we got two. Let's hope. Get the fingers crossed for three. You guys are looking at it before I am, so what do you think? Uh huh. Another good one. So that square really didn't bother them much. Uh. I don't know what else to what else to say about it, but it just seems okay to me. Don't know. <laughs> I like looking in these edges. You can see that layering in there. Well, four. Please let us have four good ones. I need them for to make a good set, and not have to redo. And I just made a fingerprint right there. I'll just use my heat gun and 
You can back up a little bit and get that out of the toilet. It's just about gone anyway. Ooh, this one is still soft, but uh, I can't believe we got four out of four that looked good. I'm proud, aren't you? <laughs> and if anybody worked along with me, I think my next one here, I'm going to um, put a list of what you need and take, you know, out on there and give you a few minutes to go and gather what you want, what you need to use. And, um, uh, put your list up. Well, we'll figure that out. I don't know how we're going to do it. Maybe we can plan to next one, what we're going to do the next day. But you know what? I've got something on my mind to make and it's just uh, making me antsy. <laughs> you ever get that way? Antsy. But, um, yeah. Pretty well want to start it, and it has to have these square molds. So if you want to have any square molds, or if you don't, if you have the, the bigger round ones, the field jewels or whatever, you can do it on those too, I'm pretty sure. So you could pick you out some colors of some um, ink, alcohol ink that you want. You get you uh, whatever medium you use to make the flower. Like myself, I use casting craft and just a couple of teeny drops of um, white alcohol ink. It just seems like it helps that spread better and it makes it lighter because alcohol ink will float. Right? Okay. I'm going to go and put all these away and then I'm going to work on the other ones so when it comes time to do them to show or record that do that video you'll already know before you watch it it'll be the one after this um what you need you need your resin go ahead and mix it up enough to fill in your coasters or whatever you have uh, and your your flower medium I, a lot of people use different things the paste and all this all I've got is casting craft and um, alcohol ink and then your alcohol inks are the colors you want the molds you want to use and then you set yourself down be ready to do it and we're going to try it together and I, I expect to see pictures of yours there at it, when you get them along with me. Because what we're going to do this time, we're going to do three different colored flowers. I'm going to pick, what I'm going to do with mine is pick out three colors I really like, plus the green for just a little dot in the center. But see, I was talking about before, if you don't give that but one or two swirls, you get a tight-knit little bunch of petals in there that look more realistic. That's why I don't put in the beads and jewels in the center because they don't look realistic. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. That's your choice. That's, that's why we have choices. My choice is not to. <laughs> I have done some, and they were pretty, but I'm not as fond of them as I am the ones that don't have it. So get that stuff you gotta have together and uh, take pictures when we're done. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You have a good night.